the magic of the kazoo. Oh god. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that the whole time. Yeah. That'd be crazy. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Alright, so back from getting eaten by macro bacteria. And discovering and discovering walleyes. Ah It's a little wet for a cat. Okay, so how much of this does the cat actually understand? Good question. It's just one of those things where it's like, just go with it, I think. Alright. Hmm. There's a part of me that wants to imagine that just about everything the cat is doing is entirely by accident. And it just happens to be coincidental that it's lining up with the game. And the cat's just doing whatever it wants, but it's solving all the problems. <laughs> entirely by accident. That would be kind of funny, not gonna lie. I remember we were having a, and I was talking to some friends about like who would win between the two, uh, between the two big like Richie Horvitz aliens, whether the protagonist from Destroy All Humans or Zim would win. My my answer was Zim, but only by accident. <laughs> he could never win intentionally. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you're, you're. I know you're actually supposed to go through that way before doing anything with the train. I didn't see any button prompt to jump up though. Oh, oh, oh I found little it. opening right there. So he won't climb the rest of the stairs, but he will climb the handrail to a point. <laughs> Doesn't sound like cat. Robo hobo. Is it lagging for anyone else? I mean, a little bit, I guess. Oh, oh yeah, the Turing test. Oh my god, weirdly specific AI books. Snort. What about what does the Robo Hobo have to say about this? It's like he it's like nothing. Thankful, very insightful Robo Hobo. Can you take its blanket away? He's not he's not, not just a It does give a life prompt. Oh, you're claiming him. Oh, he's gonna. He's not him. just any robo. He's a. He's, a, he's not just any. Hope. I'm a, hobo. hobo. <laughs> I almost said homo. Wait a minute. <laughs> and we're demonetized. <laughs> It's okay, I can say it. Siren heads. Translation. Did Neko make the macro bacteria? Yeah. Oh, fun. And it looks like they've got their own. They took care of everything, including you. 
Yo, it's camera head. Oh, great. Yes, Big really. Rectal rebooting. <laughs> How the fuck does he know that? I don't know. Oh, 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 well, yeah, there you go. Princess I, I saw. I saw somebody do a kazoo cover the Deus Ex theme. Oh my god. And then, so, and then somebody commented the official Infowars theme song. <laughs> Let's see how long we can go. A really long time. The elites don't want you to know this. But why don't you get a job? Why are you in the bathroom? <laughs> uh, he's doing the... Ah, God, what was that thought experiment? It had to do with the ship that, uh... Theseus used to escape from... Yeah, if you replace every plank of a ship, is it still the same ship? Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Uh, Oops. I mean, I guess as far as like sailing superstitions, that's actually a pretty relevant question. Yeah, but this guy's like doing a whole thing where like if I keep replacing my, replacing all my all my parts and upgrade my software, am I still the same robot? I guess that would depend on whether the robot has sapience uh, and self-awareness right and has like continuous self-awareness throughout well so far all the robots seem to have demonstrated that okay well I guess then it would be speaking of downstairs oh boy Okay, so residency is that way. Filthy degenerate robot not even wearing pants! Doesn't your favorite VTuber not wear pants? Listen, that's like all of them. <laughs> what about what up? Yeah, I thought the. <laughs> Yeah, but I thought the shark girl made like a whole bit out of the fight. I that... know. Yeah, she, she does. That was a joke. Because you never, because you almost <laughs> never see them from the waist down. No, the cat wants to rub thighs in there with strangers. Hell with the consequences. Camera head. Robo. I'm going to rub thighs and Robo. you cannot stop me. Robopox. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> We're gonna see how long I can go making that without somebody making a direct reference. <laughs> oh lord. Speaking of poxes, what's in the club? Or in the bar? Robopox? Hey! Robo hobos! So chill, I think nothing bad could happen to us. He's a robo stoner. Um. Famous last words.
The, the Guru Question Mark Club? Goro I mean... Squared. Oh. Yeah. Oh fuck, is that an actual siren head? Oh no, it's a camera. No, it's a Wait, are are, are those megaphones? Does looks it have like... megaphones for a face? Looks like it. I think so. Jesus Christ. I mean there's someone in that bar named Sojiro, which is a reference to Persona 5. My nephew keeps pointing it out every single day. Is that a motherfucking persona reference? <laughs> I know. Just, uh... Oh, 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 oh! They want me to disable the security cameras. <sighs> we need to disable the security cameras. Otacon, the butt plug is up too far. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I think I reverse ate it, Otacon. <laughs> okay, so how do we disable the security cameras? Uh, oh, you just you just climb on top of them. Yeah, yeah, that becomes important to do later. Like they give you like a tape or some, uh, yeah, it's part. You have to like do it to get an, a music track from them, then you put it, in, in like a, a, a stereo that's inside the uh, one of the clothing stores, so you could uh, obtain a, uh, a worker's vest, for a disguise for one of the robots. Is this is this a Metal Metal Gear Solid reference? I mean that or just the cat thing. Yeah. Oh well, actually, uh, there actually is, you actually do have to hide in those uh, at some point. Oh my God, metal! Okay, now where's the third He said there were three cameras. Where's the third one? I just love how these are so shoddily bolted in that a cat will throw its weight off. Uh, okay, they're all like within the... Uh, wait, hold on. I'll, fi I'll find it. Okay, uh, when you get down there, there's like a yellow cord you can follow that leads to one of the cameras, I know that, if you hadn't knocked it down already. I don't know, I, I spent that like one. ten minutes looking for a third, yeah, I spent like ten minutes looking for a third camera just to realize I had already knocked all of them down already. I, can, I think I hear, found it, it's right up there. Oh, right, right, right. I could hear it whirring. At last, I am free to jerk off in public. <laughs> and now you're making me Holy think of that... Fuck. Now he's making me think of that clip from Better Call Saul. Public masturbation. Why can't you just do it in a Starbucks like the rest of us? <laughs> I I want to hear better call Saul lines, but in like the snake voice. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Hi, I'm Saul Goodman. Do you believe you have rights? The Constitution says you do, and so do I. The Constitution says you do. <laughs> Yeah, you used that to get a mission item. Yep. 
Okay, so yeah, you have to go on like the top floor, and that's where Clementine is. Hooker? Yes. He's character oh. eight. What Ro a Robo role player. Robo role play hooker. <laughs> <laughs> the robo nerd. The robo nerds. The. They're not they're robo nerds. Robo nerds can be hookers too. <laughs> it looks like okay, the yeah. that was pimped out in King of the Hill. Okay, yeah, it's in that boarded up apartment right there. You gotta go through the window. And now you're gonna have to be fighting crabs. Not the crustacean. I want to talk about the mail. Mac, can I talk about the mail? Oh, great. So, atomic batteries to power? Yep. We need to sneak inside. <laughs> Rate this setup. Hmm. Is that a shortwave radio? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's actually a pretty cool apartment. It's a, it's run down, but hey. It's full <laughs> of garbage. Okay, now we, take the Now we gotta find... find a robot with a bomber jacket and a gold chain. I know, I, I know where he is. Uh, okay, yeah, you gotta climb all the way down. Meow. Are we going to save the cat? I love that I have a dedicated meow button. If I did not have my headset plugged in right now, I'd use it to drive Leo crazy. <laughs> and it stops your life. So unplug it. Buzz Lightyear? Oh. I'll be more displaying the Chris Pitt, uh, Chris Evans movie. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay, okay, so head that way, uh, down that. Yeah, okay. You know, no, you know, no Keep joke, going. after that movie came out, Turn right. 
Turn right, turn right. I said turn right. Down. Right there, there he is. You know, no joke, when, like when that movie, when that uh, new Buzz Lightyear movie came out, I actually had co-workers talking about it, but it, they were talking about how much it sucked. Everything I heard about it is that it's, at best, kind of bland. And <laughs> absolutely <laughs> not the kind of movie that would get, like, a kid in the 90s obsessed with toys of it. Yeah, no, but, like... <laughs> Like, if it was really a movie, like, from, like, 1995, it'd be, like, I don't know, the kid version of Pluto Nash or some shit. Let's be real, Pluto Nash was more interesting. <laughs> Pluto Nash is far more interesting. Yes, I actually saw like a video essay saying this is not the movie Andy saw in 1995 which by itself was pretty damning yeah cause it's like like this is far too introspective of, of a plot or at least it tries to be than like than something that would grab a six or a then five-year-old boy's attention. Okay. We need to get him a vest. What's okay, the yeah, there's one inside of, uh... No, the guy. Okay, oh. so there's a clothing store, right? Oh, yeah, I think we passed it. Yeah, yeah, you... You... Yeah, it's right there. Excuse me, I would like to impersonate a company employee. Okay, and then you go into the back room. Uh, where there's like a, uh, radio, or stereo right there. And then you use that to distract them. God, that's some, that is some awful, awful dubstep. And I should know. I heard Is awful. It? I heard awful dubstep when that shit was popular. Oh, we need a helmet. I don't too. know. I don't think it's okay. freaking enough to be truly awful. It's a lot just of boring. Just a lot of bass oh. drops. I mean, yeah. Okay, next. Wait, 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 wait. Now you go into the bar. Like dubstep uh, gets really bad not, when it gets there. screechy. Not, not there. Not there. Turn around. Turn around. Turn, 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 turn. Yeah. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Okay. Your left. No, your other left. No, your other other left. <laughs> yeah, that's Wait. the place where you're supposed to get the hat, but you're supposed to. Uh... Jesus, roasting your own employees. Yeah, yeah. The employees uh, in the bar, and you gotta you gotta knock beer bottles on them. A whole thing of beer bottles. But yeah, dubstep is really like dubstep is bad when it's unrecognizable as music and is basically just noise. Uh, okay, you saw I mean, that red sign. I mean, it had all the ba it had all the bass drops for it, though. Yeah, but bass drops alone do not make dubstep. Plus, it's usually like they have to build up to it. Dubstep really seems like something that was like big, like ten years ago. But I don't see it, like as often now. It was. Yeah. I think its biggest like 
draw was the fact that it was kind of new. Like well, there's that, that and the, the fact that it is kind of like in a weird way sort of provocative. Like people reacted to it no matter like whether you liked it or not. You got to people would engage with it one way or another. I will admit uh when I was about 14, 13, 14, uh, yes, I would go onto YouTube and I would like find, I would try and look for dubstep remixes of everything. Yeah. And the first like three might be pretty nice, and then after a while, it all just starts sounding samey. Yeah. Because it would all do the same kind of thing where it would wub for a little while and then it would wind down and then it would build up, then the big drop, and then it just kind of ends up with that. You downloaded malware, stupid. It's like, oh no, this aimbot is malware, no shit. People don't want me to like win at multiplayer for free. What? What? They can't even figure out how to play billiards. Uh, there's no aimbot for billiards, though. <laughs> Drink yeah, responsibly, be... small cat. Yeah, there should be a... In the back rooms. Yeah, Motherfucker's that's... gonna clip through the floor. Uh, that's, ben that's Bender when he hasn't been <laughs> drinking. Jesus. <gasps> okay, yeah, you gotta climb on top of uh, the shelf right there and... Or no, there's a ladder right there. Yeah. I refuse to climb a ladder. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, he's all rusty too. I... Okay, now you gotta get inside that box that's outside of that store. Hang on! Metal Gear! Oh, great land to barren land. A land that bears no green. Where's I send snow and the wheels she's blow. Captain, you haven't had any, any alcohol. Yeah, okay, you, turn around. Okay. Yeah, you, yeah, you remind me of a guy? He wasn't either. <laughs> Am I, I cannot be the only one who remembers that episode of Futurama. I remember. <laughs> Kirby? Yeah. Yeah, you Pick up the damn box, Kirby! All this work Megan just to get a hat. Uh huh. God, that's a lot of fucking hats. Too sauce to notice you. I love how the work uniform is just made up of regular ass clothes that you could just buy at the store. That people will just buy it. Like, oh yeah, yeah, you, you can come in here, sure. 
Yeah, it's great. See, this guy's wearing pants. Huh, yeah, better not gaze upon your robo nudity. Wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> yeah, tell me that's not a Metal Gear Solid reference. Oh my god, Metal Gear! Let me put my face up to the screen so I may sniff Hideo Kojima's fart! <laughs> Why you don't even check for an ID? Oh, that loading, though. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That yeah, I did not. I did not have that problem. Uh, that seems to be a PC thing, or at least Brett's PC. Zip zop, super fun. Uh, well, it looks like the texture's loaded in right, right though. Ugh. Oh. Oh wow, it's really chugging now. Okay, just give it a sec. All right, now where do we go? Oh, and now it turns into a stealth game. That's what the boxes are for. I love how oblivious these, these robots are. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of times where you just straight up scratch up their furniture and they don't appear. That's weird. Hmm, yes, you are scrubbing. Shit, I got caught. Well, what was the plan there? I couldn't find a... I was gonna try to see if I could get out of his line of sight. I... <laughs> oh... Alright, there we are. Okay, we didn't get set back too far.
What the fuck? Oh, these robots are stupid. Ha! Oh my god. You did. I meant to do that. I completely meant to do that. Yeah, uh -huh. sure. sure. <laughs> How do you succeed the first time? Then you fail. Simple, you be me. Yeah. Huh? That was close. I need to zoom out. I can't really get a good look at my surroundings. Alright, that's better. Fox. Okay. Make the what? The wafers. The Neko wafers. Ah. I can't believe that actually worked. I'm guessing that's our atomic battery. Oh, I see. I just realized I've been muted this whole time. Oh, oh what? <laughs> for, for like the past like three minutes, I've been paused. Or I've been muted. I'm a foul. <laughs> you did not just say it. Okay. There's another one in that room right there. That yeah, white room. Yeah, I know. Room. Yeah, I know, but 
It's close. Yeah. There's no door. You got. Yeah, and you gotta climb that other robot. Yeah, I see. I'm gonna need to turn him back on then. Yep. And now you just go and grab it. Oh, or no. We need, we need something to stand on it. Oh, the barrel. Need to go back and. S <laughs> Can't believe it was that easy. I love how it's just a burglar alarm for yoinking a fucking vision core. That was, uh, that wasn't too hard. Okay, how we get in? It's kind of funny to think that all it would take for you to get busted is for somebody to have a Geiger counter. I just walked past him and he didn't even know. Tess. Uh oh. I should have just thought of that sooner. Okay, he's gonna be hard to get past. Almost like I'm gonna have to kind of bait him. Or maybe I don't have to.
Yes, Neville, get it out of your system. Get what out of my system? I already did it. I saw the goofy face and I made the noise. I am finished. Also, Dylan, if you're saying anything, you're muted. Oh, I said Nebblegasm. Amazing. <laughs> Let's see if this does anything. It does not. We can just get across there. Yep. Window, 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 window. Turn around. What are you doing? Go into the light grip. I forgot it was there. Yeah, where did she keep? Ah, uh, here we are. Oh, yeah, she like, left a note for you, if I remember correctly on that. Found it. Looks like crystals, I think a traffic cone, and I don't know, a rice cooker maybe? What does it look like to you guys? Looks like a rice cooker. Matt would know. <laughs> I hope he's trying to know. You, Dylan? <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure the guy. Pretty sure the guy is on o on Oni plays give Tomar shit for being Jewish. <laughs> okay, so it's not a rice cooker. It's some kind of. In a sensor. It's not a sense. It says detect harmless chemicals. In a gaseous state, they can't recreate the calming sensation. I remember basically something like a. Like a scented yeah, like candle. Yeah, incense thing. Yeah, a candle, or essence, like <laughs> incense. Like yeah. Well, yeah. Oh yeah, there is something if you climb on top of that ladder. Or if you find a way to get up there anyway. Yeah. Cat refuses yeah. to climb ladder. Shit, a lava one. Oh, there yeah, there's like a brighter lava lamp than that. Okay, so at least we know all the stuff is around our apartment, so we don't have to go very far. Mm-hmm. Hey. Now you can climb. Hey, buddy. Oh, she had a holophone. I think you have to collect it. I'm not sure. I think we kind of put it together after we find all the clues. Oh, all right, right, right. All right, it gives you words, right? Ah, uh, we've already inspected that. Okay, so. 
uh, where's the other lava lamp? Oh, I think it's in the kitchen. Oh, there's a crystal thing in the bathroom. Or whatever, not a crystal thing. Is it? Oh, a lamp. Yeah, the lamp. Or the cone. Found it. I think we've been... You guys feel like that's a good spot to leave off for now? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. We'll be back next week. Yay. Yeah.